Hey guys, the Eggman here. Welcome to The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, episode 31. Last episode, we defeated the Temple of Ice. And this episode, we're going to be getting a lot of treasure. So first, you want to go to the mailbox. It's going to be a day after on your DS uh, clock, like last time with the uh, letter from Gon Goron, a day after defeating the Goron Temple. But anyways, in the letter will be a wisdom gem. And with that, just head back to the ship. And you can talk to Lineback now about finding the second cure me metal. And now we're going to head to DS Island. We've been here before, but there's going to be some new stuff here for us. So just drop down here. You want to talk to this guy right here. So there's going to be a bunch of targets throughout the course that we have to destroy. How we're going to do that though, we'll figure out right now with Gongoron. So we're going to be reunited with Gongoron and we get to control him again in this mini game. We have to beat 35 seconds. So there's going to be 30 targets, you're just going to roll with Gongoron through all of them. And you just go through the course, it's pretty uh, pretty like simple how the course is laid out. There's not going to be any anything too confusing about the course. And you can uh, look on your map on the top screen of your DS and look where the targets are in case you missed any. But uh, there's no need to show that because uh, it's just going to take make it harder to see. Everything's going to be smaller on the video, so that's why I just like to do the bottom screen. Nothing really happens on the top screen. But anyways, if you get under 35 seconds, we get the second bomb chew bag upgrade. We're now able to carry, I think, 30 bomb chews in the bag. I think that's right. I'm not sure, though. And now we're going to head to Goron Island. And now is where we're going to be using our hookshot and getting all the treasures scattered throughout the land that we weren't able to get before. So for this, you just want to head all the way around, and we're going to head up to where there was the Goron that was scared of the yellow choo-choos earlier, I think. I think that's the monsters that he was scared of. Anyway, this guy right here. Take out your hookshot. Hookshot to this rock here. And then there's going to be a treasure chest just laying around right here. And we get a courage gem. Now at the Isle of Ember. You just want to head up north. And northeast actually. Just hook shot to the treasure chest here, open it up, and we get a courage gem. Now on to the next island that we want to go to. Melita Island. So over here, it's going to be a bit longer than the other islands that we've been to so far. First off, you want to head into the cave by Romanus' house the uh, shooting range minigame and what you want to do is you can just ignore the choo choos if you want but hop across these platforms but don't hop down stay right here and hook shot over to the treasure chest and we get a power gem then you can just drop down up here head up to the north this Zor War is going to come out again but you can just walk straight past him, pay no mind to him, head through this cave with the Octorox. And 
what you want to do is head up these steps right here. And head back down to the main part of the island. But don't jump down. You want to you want to get over to the next part of the island. But how you want to do this is uh, hook shot the barrel. But don't hook onto it. Hook it to the uh, signpost so you knock the barrel out of the way. Or else, if you just hook shot to the barrel, you're just gonna fall into the water. Grab the the uh, cuckoo that appears and hop across these two gaps. You can see a soft soil spot in the ground below this tree. And dig it up and we get a treasure map. So from here you can just jump down to this lower island and then hook shot back to the main part of the island. Now what we want to do is head back up to the Temple of Courage. So to do that we have to go into this secret underground uh, hideout that old old wayfarer made. So you have to dig below that tree again. And just head up and head through this door here that we use the key on. And head around all the way to the Temple of Courage. And ignore these all these monsters. But anyways right here you want to create a tightrope between these two wooden pegs and hop across, open up this treasure chest, and we get a courage gem. Now on to the next island. Here we are at Spirit Island now. And what you want to do on this island, just head to where this open treasure chest is and hook shot across and you can just avoid all these Octoroks shooting at you. Over here we're gonna have a new enemy, which we're not fighting right now. We just got a like like right here, but right here we got a rupee like. They're going to disguise themselves as rupees. And then uh once you get close to them, then they're gonna show their real selves and try and suck you in. But you just defeat them like any other like like. And head up these steps here. And we get a power gem. Now we're at Bannon Island. And first what we want to do is just once we get off the boat. Just hook shot to this treasure chest, open it up, and we get another power gem. Just hook shot back to the island. And if you remember, once we made the uke friendly, they gave us a hint about uh, a treasure that was near Old Wayfarer's house on Bannon Island. So dig around, and you'll find a treasure map. Now we want to head into this cave right here to get to the opposite side of the island and find more treasures over there. You can just avoid the enemies like always, like I've been saying a lot this episode so far. The voice just cracked a bit there. That's embarrassing. I remember I had this one teacher in grade 9, my socialist teacher, Mr. Clark, and uh... They would, uh, every once in a while his voice would always crack and then the whole class would laugh at him. I just, I always felt kind of sorry for him, but he just took it like a boss and took all the laughter. But anyways, when you, once you hookshot it across the, uh, to the previous island, there was two treasure chests with a spirit gem and a big green rupee, and then on the stone tablet that we saw there, they said that they buried a treasure between the two chests, and we get a treasure map there. So with that, we're gonna head to the Uncharted Island now. This is the last island that we're going to be finding treasures on, 
before we continue on with the story. So just head into this area here where we found the big golden frog and create a tightrope between these two wooden pegs. Hop across it and we get a courage gem. Now we're at Marquet Island and guess what we gotta do now again? And you probably guessed it right, we're going to the Temple of the Ocean King again for the fifth or sixth time now. Woo! That was sarcasm, by the way, if you didn't pick that up. But, yeah, just head along here, up into the Temple of the Ocean King, and we're going to end things off now, and next time we're going to be heading through this temple again. See you guys then.